Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal. This YouTube channel covers things about living in Jerusalem and Israel. As most people who've been following the news over the past few days will be aware, there has been an escalation in the security situation with militant groups in the Gaza Strip firing rockets into Israel. Today, some rockets landed near Jerusalem. Um, so when this happens, if you are living in Israel um, at the time of a sort of security flare up like this, generally people will start paying a lot more attention to this system called the Red Alert in Hebrew, Seva Adom. So most people check it. It's a nationwide system that sends out warnings based on specific areas in the country. And most people check it via um, their smartphone. But I personally much prefer to do stuff on my computer, my desktop. Uh, so if you're working at a desktop during the day, um, I like to have it on my uh, desktop rather than my phone. So this is a nice website that I found and I wanted to just show quickly. I'll put the URL up on the screen. Uh, it's sevaadom.co.al, the Israeli domain name. And as you can see, it's available in four languages. We can switch between the Hebrew version, which is, of course, uh, laid out right to left, the English version. And they've also got a version in Spanish, um, Arabic, and in Russian. Uh, so I'm just going to return it to English. Um, so basically what this is, it's going to send you desktop notifications and it's kind of self-explanatory, but I thought I would uh, just kind of run through the features anyway. So you can see on the left-hand side of the screen here, the uh, alert notifications that have been sent in uh, over the past few hours. As you can see today, there's been a bunch of these alerts. And as you can see, um, the nationwide Seva Adom system divides the country into alert regions. Uh, so basically you need to know or you should know your alert region, whatever, however you're checking these. So um, the two things that you can do basically, desktop notifications, you want to turn this on and that will give a notification. At the moment, if you don't specify a city, it'll give it for the whole country, but you can pop your city in. So my alert region is Jerusalem South. So I'm just going to scroll down on my screen a bit. And you can see for Jerusalem, there is Jerusalem Kafar Akab in the north, Jerusalem East, Jerusalem West. So I'm going to go for Jerusalem South and put that in. And now I'm going to be getting notifications only for my area and not the whole country. So Jerusalem South. And you can select multiple regions, which is a nice feature as well. So I can do Jerusalem West also, and then this will send notifications for you. you can see there's two alert regions. So I'm just going to take off uh, Jerusalem West. Just to show as well, um, if you click on more warning measures, you'll you'll see other places you can get this. There is, of course, um, apps for the Android and for iPhone. There's also, uh, this works over Telegram, uh, Twitter, um, WhatsApp, and Instagram even. So they have it all covered. So you don't need to have, you know, everything. The ones I would recommend doing are, I like the desktop one personally, and I also have the app set up um, on my phone, just my phone isn't always turned on or with me. So I like when I'm working at the computer to do it like this. One more option you have there is read city names in English if you want to follow alerts for the whole country. Um, and when you take this the first time, you're going to get a notification from Chrome to enable notifications. So it's important you click yes uh, so that you can get these. If you're using Google Chrome as your browser like me and you want to make sure, double check that you've got the notification permission allowed for that website. You want to go into your Chrome settings, then click into privacy and security. Then you want to click into um, site settings here, control what information sites can use and show. And as you can see, I've whitelisted, I've whitelisted sevaadome.co.al and allowed uh, notifications. So you should see that there um, and uh, it's going to allow it to send it into the notifications into the browser. So if you don't see that there, uh, go back to Seva Adom, refresh the page and then click on enable in order to allow notifications. One final little trick that might prove useful is uh, Chrome has a nice feature whereby you can turn a web page into sort of an app. So if you want to just keep this open on your computer at all times and not just when you're using Chrome, you can do that. You want to click on the uh, Chrome menu, click into more tools, and then you have a button here for create a shortcut. And um, you want to click on open as window and I'm just going to call this red alerts and this will put a little item on your desktop and it'll give you sort of like a program you can see this is what I have here. So I like to separate my web browsing from my from this and I can just keep this window open on my computer um, and I can even actually configure it to run automatically when my computer starts up. So I think that's pretty much 
all you might need to know in order to get the red alert alert red alert alert um, on your desktop computer. Again, I'll put the URL here. It's savaadome.co.al and I'll also put a link to it in the description and it is a voluntary project which people can donate to.